Welcome to the fourth tutorial of construction estimation. In this tutorial, we will learn that how to take off flooring and about the flooring estimates. There are different types of flooring that are measured according to their location. Flooring information can be found in a schedule given in the drawings. The first type, there are different types of tiles in flooring. There are floor, tiles flooring. Second is the wood flooring type. Third is the sheet flooring type. Fourth is simple concrete type flooring. And there are some other type of flooring that is used according to the given plans of the project. Before going further, takeoffs we will see in the list of drawings. Either the finished floor plans are available and where is the finished floor schedule. So we will see in the architectural drawings. Here you can see the finished floor plans at drawing number A11.1 to onward finish plan level 1 area A, B, C etc. When we move on that drawing A11.1 here you can see the finish plan level 1 area A here also in the key plan you can see the area A is highlighted in the drawing so we will work on that drawing on area A for flooring takeoffs we have to see the flooring schedule at drawing A11 in the schedule you can see that there is cast in place concrete wood athletic flooring resilient base and accessories etc here you can see the different types of flooring that will be used for takeoffs according to the given plans. Here you can see the resilient base and accessories. Bases are the finishes with the floors and walls of the building. These finishes can be of different specifications and we call them wall bases. These bases are used according to the flooring used like wood, tile and concrete etc. We will use these bases according to the flooring used. If we use tile flooring, we will use these tiles for wall bases and so on. Next are the resilient tile flooring. Here you can see that VCT1, VCT2 onward. These are vinyl composition tiles. Next are the other forms. So we will see on the flooring plan that on which part of the building what type of flooring is being used 
if we move on the project drawing, you can see the details of the project. Here you can see the classroom number, its details and there are different types of flooring given. You can see that VCT1 in the classroom. Here is the other type VCT5 on the right side. There are two types of flooring in the room that are divided at this level. VCT1 on the left and VCT5 on the right side. Here is the other type ERF1 flooring and there is a CT1 that is the ceramic tile. So we will mark all these flooring type area one by one and we will minus all the openings like here you can see in the door we will minus this opening from that flooring to calculate the exact measurements here you can see the vct1 is the same in different room numbers to check their details we will move on the flooring schedule here you can see the composition of the tiles flooring tiles their manufacturer and the description of the tile their texture that what are these are made here you can see the sizes of the tiles they are all same and the colors of the tiles these are different here you can see the light gray white gray etc so you can find all the necessary details about the flooring in the flooring schedule about the sizes of the tiles or what type of flooring it is being used in that project so when you see on that drawing in classroom we will measure the flooring area about the tiles and the bases used for marking of the flooring you can see that VCT type has the same sizes. So we will mark all the VCT type in one VCT name. As you can see in the floor, they have the same sizes. Same as in tiles flooring that has different name we will mark them accordingly here you can see we will measure that area of the room we will rename it as vct flooring and we will measure 
the whole area of inside the room we have covered all of ecd area of the room next we will measure the base wall base in linear fit we will name it rubber base here you can see we will measure the rubber base area of inside the building room we will minus the door openings of the room so here is we have measured the room area and the wall base same like that we will measure other rooms areas of the building one by one and here you can see that other types of flooring like ERF1 and seal concrete flooring if you see in the schedule the seal concrete you can see the details of the seal concrete same like we will measure this room area of seal concrete with its name here you can see the carpeting flooring carpet tiles you can see the details and their size are almost same 24 inches by 24 inches so we will measure the carpet flooring like that for a specific flooring job we will measure only flooring of all types that are being used throughout the building like in the rooms corridors washrooms and other areas of the building other finishes like wall covering will be a job for a different person so we will measure all the floor types one by one and put these values in the excel sheet so we will cover all these measurements with area a level one area b area c we will measure all these flooring types in corridors and rooms etc for each and every level of the building one by one to enter these measurements in the excel sheet we will move on the flooring schedule so we will enter the flooring types in the description its composition vinyl composition its manufacturer and its imperial texture and what it look like its catalog number and its sizes so we will enter the resilient tile flooring 
details in the sheet same like we will enter other types of measurements of flooring like tile carpeting tile carpet same as its description its manufacturer and its size etc here you can see the next is the resinous flooring its type catalog description each and every detail is given in the schedule if you move on the upper side the cast in place concrete the sealed concrete and if you look at the resilient base here is the detail and description about the base its manufacturer its type and size the typical base size is used that is 4 inches otherwise the size is mentioned in the drawing so we will enter all these details of the measured flooring types in the excel sheet